told your friend you're not okay. Hello, tell me back to your Coco Split Snack. This is Courtney, and today we are going to be doing the mid year freak out. Um, so question number one best book you've read so far in 2022? Um, number one. Uh, Young Bloods by Scott Westerfeld. This is book four in The Imposters, the last book in The Imposters. Um, it was a wild ride, and it, I've been in the Uglies um, universe for a good 16, 17 years now, and I just absolutely love this universe. And having Tally come back into the very last book was great and amazing, and I loved it. Um, I also really, really loved Kingdom of the Wicked by Carrie Maniscalco. I actually read this one earlier this month, and I just adored it and loved it, and I'm excited to continue in the series. And then I also really, really, really loved a Guild um, by Raven Kennedy. I'm really, really enjoying this series. I'm on book two right now. And I'm one of the, definitely my top three. Um, next up we have best sequel you've read so far in 2022. I really liked Hook, Line, and Sinker by Tessa Bailey. Um, that one was definitely probably my number one sequel so far this year. And then I also really loved Ironheart, um, which is the second book in The Crier's War series and I absolutely loved it and then I also really liked The Strange Him which is the second book in the Bargainer series by Laura Thalassa I'm really really enjoying that one and I can't wait to continue and number three new release you haven't read yet Glow by Raven Kennedy I'm working my way towards it and I can't wait to finally pick it up Next up we have number four, most anticipated release for the second half of the year. Um, definitely Defend the Dawn by um, Bridget Kemmerer. This one is the sequel to Defy the Night. I absolutely loved it. Out of Bridget's, this one is probably my favorite book of hers of all time. I'm excited to get into it really really enjoyed this book um number five biggest disappointment um house of earth and blood and a house of sky and breath i didn't hate them i definitely did not love them i love sarah j mass i really do but these ones they were just a push in the wrong direction. It felt like she was trying way too hard. Um, the first book, I kind of had to double check to make sure I actually was listening to the first one. Because it felt like a Cassandra Clare book. And I love Cassandra Clare books. And if it was hers, I probably would have actually really liked it. But, I didn't like the push for the romance. I didn't like anything really about them. I'm not a huge Bryce and Hunt fan. I really don't understand that whole relationship, to be honest with you. I wish I would have liked these a lot more, but I just didn't. Um, I believe I gave them both two, three stars. It just, not my favorite from Sarah. Um, next up, my biggest surprise was Red Sister by Mark Lawrence. I didn't think I was actually going to really enjoy this. Um, I ended up giving it three stars it wasn't a hate it wasn't a love but it was i was enjoyed that i actually enjoyed it um it was definitely a solid three star for me um next up we have favorite author Simone St. james i'm really enjoying her books and i can't wait to see what next she comes out with i'm I think I'm completely caught up in her thriller mystery um, right now, but I do want to check out her other ones that she has because I heard they are really good as well. Um, next up, newest fictional crush, Desmond from Rhapsodic. I love him. I love him in the second book even more. 
Um, he's just, just a love. Um, newest favorite character, definitely Oren in the Plated Prisoners series. I'm really, really liking her character right now. Um, next up we have a book that made you cry. I had quite a few of these, but my top three in this category, The Desolations of Devil's Acre by Ransom Riggs. This book got me. Um, this one should probably be my best books as well because I have followed the series up until this one. This is the very last book. In the ending, I completely bought my eyes out. It was definitely a really, really great ending for the series. And then we have Infinity Reaper. Um, by Adam Silvera. There are some points in here that I absolutely cried. Um, that's just kind of one of those books that kind of gets you and Adam kind of knows when to like pull you in and get you there for a second. And then we have Guild by Raven Kennedy. There was a specific scene um, and I just cried. It was sad. Um, next up we have books that me made you happy. Young Bloods by Scott Westerfeld. This one that was just kind of a joy to continue in the series and get a final um, exit out of the Uglies world. And I will continue to reread the Ugly series and probably include the imposters in my reread of those because it's definitely one of my childhood favorites. And then of course Desolations of Devil's Acre. The ending was very very happy. It definitely made me ball because it was one of those happy cries at the end. It was just kind of one of those where everything kind of came together in the ending and it just made it perfect. Um, most beautiful books I have bought this year, um, I've definitely bought quite a few books, probably none as beautiful as all of my Illumicrate editions. Um, I only have four of them here, um, but I mean they're gorgeous, gorgeous books. And I think also my Nerdy Ink book covers as well because they're fantastic and I love them. Um, but other than that, I think Glint is probably my only beautiful book that I have that is not sprayed but pretty. And then we have What Books Do You Need to Read by the End of the Year? Um, this, I usually typically don't make myself read books, um, in a year. Um, I kind of just kind of go with the flow and whatever I pick up for the month is what I pick up with my TBR and all that. And I kind of just fill in my audiobooks, um, throughout the month for my mood pretty much. If I don't have audiobooks for the books on my TBR. Um, but by the end of the year, I do want to be caught up completely in the Chorus of Dragons. Um, this one's book three. I think I'm about that far in, probably about three quarters of the way through it. Um, hopefully I'll finish it by the end of the month. I think I only have like three hours left of the audiobook. Um, but there are two more books after this one that I want to finish by the end of the year and be completely caught up. And I absolutely love this series. Please go pick it up. The Course of Dragons by Jen Lyons. Um, and then I also want to continue in the Red Rising series by Pierce Brown. I have read Red Rising, Golden Sun, and Morning Star. I need to do the other two books um, in this series. Um, Hopefully I will get those done by the end of the year. And then I also want to continue in the Poppy War by R.F. Kuang. Um, this one I'm on book two. Um, I can't remember exactly how many books are in the series. 
but I have read The Popular and The Dragon Republic, and I'm hoping to completely finish the series by the end of the year. And also, I want to finish The Greenbone Saga um, by Fonda Lee. Um, I have read Jade City this month, and I want to continue um, with Jade War and Jade Legacy and get those completely off my list. And I am also planning on finishing the Plated Prisoner series by Raven Kennedy. I on book two, there's four more books, and then a fifth book coming out next year. So I want to be completely caught up before um, next year before we get to the fifth book. And then I'm probably going to hopefully finish the Bargainer series by Laura Thalassa. I'm on, I just finished book two. I think there's four. Um, can't, not completely sure on that, but I definitely want to finish this before the end of the year too. Um, and then probably end up finishing Kingdom of the Wicked. Um, I know there's three. Um, and I have finished this one, and I do have the second book somewhere over here behind me. Um, and I think that's it off the top of my head. Thank you. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and have a wonderful day. I know you told your friend you're not okay. And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way.